Another busy and informative show for you tonight. We're going to be talking about new choices, new options. We'll explain what that is. And we'll also be talking about Clarion University's Small Business Development Center. It's all tonight on Feedback. I'm Mark Esterhakis. Welcome to Feedback. As I said, coming up on tonight's show, we're going to be talking about new choices, new options, actually a career development service. We've been talking a lot about careers and advancing some job possibilities lately on the show. We're going to be talking about yet another service available to you. And then maybe once you've decided what your career is, you want to go and do your own, your own business, we're going to be talking about uh, Clarion University's Small Business Development Center. So that's all coming up for you tonight. But the first thing I want to talk to you about tonight also uh, goes back to something Actually, I talked about last week on the program. As you may remember, I was kind of um, maybe bewildered is the word about the shooting that happened two weeks ago now in Wilkinsburg. And I was very bewildered. And, you know, I think that shooting and the, the shooting of the, the six-year-old in Michigan has really opened the debate yet again on gun control. And, of course, once again, what is it just, you know, this side saying this, this side saying this, and they're just fighting it out and really not a whole lot's getting done. So... What am, well, I, this weekend, well, you know, what do I do? I'm watching uh, the, the morning, the blowhard shows on Sunday morning, you know, and I, and I, I saw an interview with, with President Clinton talking about what the NRA had said about gun control, and there was something that was in the paper, and I just want to read a little bit of an excerpt from this. Um, this is a, trans a transcript of um, one of the ads that the NRA is running uh, basically against President Clinton. Um, Charlton Heston, uh, the president of the NRA, is narrating the ad, and it says, Mr. Clinton, we all agree that guns don't belong in the hands of people ruled mentally incompetent. So gun buyers' background checks ought to include mental records checks. Problem is, you say you're for it when you've blocked it at every turn. That's line number one. And you say it takes days when it can be done in minutes. That's line number two. The public deserves criminal and mental record checks on gun buyers. No lies. Okay, so Charlton Heston and the NRA are coming out with their statement. This is what we think, you know, and, and President Clinton, you've d been doing this wrong. So then Clinton comes back. Clinton says, True or false, the NRA was opposed to the Brady Law. True. True or false, the NRA was opposed to the assault weapons ban. True. True or false, the NRA happily ended the congressional careers of brave members of Congress, blah, 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 blah. He goes on and on about attacking the NRA. So what do we have here? We have this side saying, you know, uh, the NRA saying, okay, we, Clinton, you're doing this wrong. Clinton, go and say, okay, NRA, you're doing this wrong. So what do we have? Nothing being resolved sounds like we're back to square one where we're at before the debate even started. Then I was listening to a radio talk show today, and um, I actually hadn't heard this, so I only heard the talk show host say this, that someone from the NRA said that Clinton needs this gun violence. He loves when this happens because it only gives him more of a chance to further his political aspirations. You know, is this what we really need to be concerned about, what, you know, fighting amongst each other? I think there needs to be a resolution, and like I said last week, I don't know what the resolution is. I don't think most of us know what the resolution is because some people say, well, you have to get rid of all the guns. Well, you really can't do that. And then other people are, are saying, well, there's got to be tougher, tougher penalties, tougher uh, things with, in regards to gun locks and things like that. Well, that may all be true. But there needs to be something done. And, and we've elected all these officials who need to realize that and come to some type of conclusion so we can stop this just bickering. And that's all this is, the NRA saying this, Clinton saying that, and they're both guilty in this one, I think. And, you know, if you listen to talk radio, that's all you hear, people fighting on this side and this side. There is no compromise. There needs to be some kind of compromise. I know I'm asking for a lot, but it could save a life maybe someday. I, I, that's, that's what I think. Well, okay, I just wanted to, to bring that to you. We're gonna take a break, and when we come back, we're gonna be talking about New choices, new options, career development services after this.
This portion of the programming is being made possible through a great... Clarion Agway offers a wide selection of lawn, garden, pet, and farm supplies. They also offer a large selection of power equipment. The Clarion Agway is open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. until 5 p.m., and Saturdays from 8 a.m. until 2 p.m. That's the Clarion Agway, located at 1130 East Main Street in Clarion. Phone 226-9270. I hang out with a pretty trashy circle, the circle that helps this circle. It starts when we recycle trash at home. It's completed when we buy products made from recycled materials. Check the label for something called post-consumed recycled content. Then buy the highest percentage of it you can find. Complete the circle. Call 1-800-CALL-EDF for your free buy recycled shopping guide. 1-800-CALL-EDF. Everybody, I'm Brandy. How would you like to give hope to millions of the world's children? UNICEF, the United Nations Children's Fund, is saving lives in over 140 countries by providing kids with medicine, clean water, nutrition, and education. With your help, UNICEF can make a huge difference in our world. For more information, call 1-800-FOR-KIDS. Thank you. Welcome back to Feedback. As I said earlier, you know, the last couple of weeks we've been talking a lot about, you know, the job fair that's coming up and a lot of career-oriented services. Well, tonight's no different. We're talking about that as well. We're t joining me tonight is Deb Freed from uh, New Choices, New Options, Career Development Service. There's our little logo. Uh, Deb, thanks for joining us. My pleasure, Mark. Uh, let's start out with, with the basics here. What is New Choices, New Options? It's a career development services program which helps individuals looking for employment to enter the workforce at whatever level they may be. They may need an extensive amount of training, they may even need a GED, mm. but, in, but they all sir, uh, are needing uh, to enter the workforce at some point in time. And is there anyone specific you're, that this is targeted at? The, it, the target audience would be single parents and displaced homemakers, women who have traditionally been uh, supported by a spouse and um, for uh, reasons beyond their control mm -hmm. have to enter the workforce. We've expanded that to in individuals interested in non-traditional career opportunities. Those are career opportunities which are predominated by one gender, so it would be non-traditional for the opposite gen gender. Okay. Is this government run? This is a program uh, which is grant funded annually through the Department of Education, Pennsylvania Department of Education. Locally, we are sponsored by our career center, uh, the Clarion County Career Center. Oh, okay. I, oh, I didn't realize that. Um, so how big of an operation are you running there? <laughs> well, we um, have a year-round uh, services that we provide six, seven-week programs to, free to individuals who are eligible and request uh, information about our program and register. Uh, around the classes that we offer, we continue to see graduates and help them with employment skills. For example, the career fair that's coming up here in Clarion County this Thursday, many of our graduates are coming back to update their resume so that they're ready for that. Okay, so let's maybe give an overview of what the services that you're providing to someone who comes to you. And this is free of charge, right? The program is free of charge. Uh, there are two basic areas that we provide services. One is a personal assessment and a career planning portion. Uh, a lot of things that help people become successful when they go to training, when they become employed, how to balance their life at home, their commitments in the community with perhaps a training that they've never taken before, maybe a full-time job if they've never held a full-time job. How do you balance it all? So we do things like um, stress management, communication skills, study skills, uh, assertiveness, decision making, goal setting. On the other hand, we give a lot of employability skills, resume writing, interviewing mm -hmm. skills, how to fill out applications, what are cover letters, mm -hmm. and then we do a lot of resource uh, referrals to people, uh, your next guest from the Small Business Development Center. We have people who are anxious to look at the opportunity of maybe getting into business, becoming an entrepreneur, so that would be a resource that we would refer to. So how are you doing this? I mean, is it 
can people come to you and say, and you can say, oh, here's a pamphlet about it, or are you, are you teaching courses? How does it work? Well, we, we get referrals from agencies. We get people who see our advertising or may see this show mm -hmm. tonight and may call us, and we want to be sure and give them our phone number. Right. Um, a lot of our referrals come for our, from our graduates. We've been here since 1985. We have over 1,300 people who've been through our program, and they mm. continue to talk about their success in employment and in training. And so we get friends and neighbors, people that they know, coming in asking about the program. Uh, they can call in, and if we have a class coming up, we'll send them information about that class. If we don't have a class just within a few weeks or within a month, mm -hmm. then we may ask them to come in and just individually tell us what their plans are, what their needs are, and we may get them started. But mm -hmm. we do have six classes that run between August and June. And then over the summer, we revise our curriculum materials and update our resources and get ready again for August. So a lot of programs. Get the, let's get the number out there once. We'll, we'll certainly say it again later. We have a local number, 814-226-4631. We also have an 800 number because we serve people outside the Clarion area in all the surrounding counties, a good portion of them from Jefferson County, and then any county that they're willing to drive to our <laughs> base in Clarion or any of our outreach locations. And that 800 number is 1-800-397-2889. And now you're you're not the only one of these two choices and options in the state, correct? That's right. There are 28 programs around the Commonwealth, mm -hmm. and we serve nearly all the counties. And our goal is to reach into some of the underserved counties. For example, our program in Clarion services Jefferson County. We get people from Northern Armstrong County, the corner of Butler County, <laughs> Forest County, um, Venango County. It depends on where, where people do most of their uh, social contacts and shopping. They may feel more comfortable driving to Clarion than to Oil right. City. Okay, so you were saying outreach programs, what is Right the, now, we have an outreach program going on in Brookville. So we take our program, a seven-week program, and find a location. Right now, we're in the First United Methodist Church in Brookville, giving a seven-week program. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been in New Bethlehem. We have been in Reynoldsville in Jefferson County and Punxsutawney. Uh, in Clarion County, we've given programs in Rymersburg, in Knox at the Keystone Smile Center and in uh, Foxburg at AC Valley Elementary School. Oh, so you need a lot of, um, you said seven week program. Um, what, what if I say, okay, I wanna, I wanna sign up for this, what can I expect? Am I there every night for seven weeks or, okay. or what, what can I expect? We primarily offer a daytime program during school hours because many of the people coming to our program have school age children. Mm -hmm. So while their children are in school, we have a daytime program we can offer child care assistance to parents mm -hmm. who have preschool children and we can offer assistance on mileage for people that have uh, limited resources to come to our program the daytime program is free and it's monday through thursday generally nine to two thirty that allows them fridays for personal appointments mm -hmm. and and to do other things that they they have schedules to do uh... we do offer once a year an evening program which has been very popular with people who are already part-time employed mm -hmm. but are looking for an opportunity to improve their employment possibilities right. either move in move up in the job that they have uh... gain extra skills in order for advancement or to move into a different employment opportunity altogether so do you have to write a grant i mean are you writing every year to try to get money for this or we, we write we write every year and that, oh. that's been difficult but sure. we've been here for fifteen years uh... so we have a good track record right. we have a tremendous amount of success we have twenty eight solid programs in the commonwealth and we have um, coming up soon we hope a piece of legislation that will support our programs for more than one year at a time oh, okay let's give those numbers out one more time Okay, our local number is an area code 814-226-4631. Our 800 number is 1-800-379-2889. Okay, and I think they put those on the bottom of the screen. Okay. Uh, Deb Fried from uh, New Choices, New Options, the Career Development Center, for joining us. Uh, a lot of good work you're doing for the people of the surrounding Mark, appreciate County. the opportunity. No problem. We'll be right back after this, talking sort of along the same lines about the Small Bus Business Development Center at Clarion University. This
portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant. The Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant is located at 540 Main Street in Clarion and offers dining as well as a nightclub. The restaurant and nightclub are open seven days a week for your convenience. Call the Captain Loomis Hotel and Restaurant, 226-8400. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Clarion Office Equipment. Clarion Office Equipment is located on Greenville Avenue Extension in Clarion. They can handle all your office equipment and computer needs. They are open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. You can call Clarion Office Equipment at 226-8758. It's not just about making plans, it's about making a difference and taking an interest, not just earning it. At Edward Jones, it's about more than investing, it's about knowing you. Edward Jones, investing in you and your dreams. In Clary, you see Gary Martin located on Main Street, phone 226 7896. I said, you know, it wasn't a better name for a movie to come out now, and I think I'm going to make the movie or write the book. It would be a great book to have. And you can uh, call uh, to get her book. Um, you can also find it online. But when I have a feeling I'm going to be rather opinionated. People I know, so what's happening about scheduling? Um, why, is it, why is it that students have such a problem here with? Students of Feedback with Mark Despotakis every Tuesday and Wednesday night, beginning at 7.30 p.m. We're totally out of time. No time to talk to you. We'll see you tomorrow. Welcome back to Feedback. I'm Mark Despedakis. So we were talking a little bit about how to maybe get some skills to, to get a job. Maybe you want to go and have your own business. Well, joining us now is uh, Dr. Wood Yaney from Clare University. Um, the Small Business Development Center, it's actually on the campus, am I correct? That's correct. Uh, the Small Business Development Centers are all university-based. Uh, the University of Pennsylvania is the lead school. There's 16 across the state of oh. Pennsylvania. Okay, so it's not just here. No, we've been here though for 20 years. And um, we started... Uh, so what can we come to you? What services can you offer? Well, generally uh, we work with people that are interested in developing a business plan. A uh, business plan can be inclusive of a number of things. And it could have a number of objectives. But uh, inclusive in there, you're going to find a description of the business. Mm -hmm. You're going to find marketing feasibility analysis or study. You're going to find financial information, either historical or pro forma, which would be looking into the future, mm -hmm. two or three years. Uh, then you're going to find sort of a summary and a synopsis. And if somebody wants to take this and go beyond the planning stage, which is what a, a business plan is, say to uh, a financing stage, they would then use this to go to a bank and oh. there might be adjustments made in the sense that a bank may require more information. For example, if you're buying a plant and equipment, they might ask for appraisal of that, mm -hmm. of that plant. Uh, so really then it develops into a loan package. Right. Okay. And you can take that to a number of different banks and you should mm -hmm. if you want to you know, uh, look at the market as far as interest rates are concerned. Uh, then if, even beyond that, once, let's say you did start a business or you used to expand the business, then you can use it as a budget because you've done an analysis that's enabled you to, to develop figures for three years or five years. Mm -hmm. And you can look then to see how closely you've come to your budget in your actual operation. So oh, if you're okay. off, you do a little bit of various analysis and, and you say, okay, I should have maybe looked at this one area more, cost of so sales. So someone's going to, can come to you and, and I mean, or, or is this just, this is not just to, like say students in university? Well, it's uh, both, but the, and students do use it. As a matter of fact, I have students working for me, mm. program for undergraduates, uh, I offer a couple scholarships for incoming students. 
uh, the MBAs at the university uh, work with us, and, and uh, I think that they get a, a more than just a impact experience. This is practical. Right. They're working with real life businesses. But going back to your question, uh, mostly it's people who uh, are in our business community or those who are interested in, in either starting a business or developing a business. Um, we probably work with about five to six hundred different companies here. Mm. Um, of those, maybe 150 will really get down to uh, the final stages of going out and trying to raise capital. Uh, last year, if I can remember my figures, we did about $12,600,000 million for companies. Uh, that includes both equity financing and, and uh, debt financing. To me, that's substantial as far sure. as injecting something back into our local economy. Um, what, you know, you're saying that, that you're having these people come to you to, you know, you, you're helping them put together the business plan. Right. Why is it that, that not all of them are, are coming to fruition as a business? Well, a lot of people have ideas and uh, they may be an excellent idea, however, there may not be an economic mm. uh, advantage to it. Okay. Uh, and that's, that's part of the education process, by the sure. way. Actually, I feel uh, even though we're consultants in a, in a sense, mm. we are educators also. It's just a different classroom. Right. In other words, it's one-on-one. -on -one. And uh, you work with the client until you get to the stage where either they find out that this is a good idea or it isn't a good idea. Um, and that's part of the process. So there should be. We shouldn't be telling people to, to go into business right. if there's not, no opportunity there. So you have a lot of maybe disappointed people who say, oh, gee. Uh, uh, well, I wouldn't call them disappointed. I would call them educated, educated? people. Yeah. Okay. yeah that would be a better way to use it. Because, you know, uh, if, if I was thinking of starting a business and I found out later that I was going to be sinking my own savings and my mm -hmm. own time and my own effort and it was not going to benefit me and my family. Right. And as time went on, I'd be putting more and more into it. And eventually I'd have to stop that activity because I couldn't afford it. Mm -hmm. I, I think, think I'd appreciate knowing that up front. So, uh, say I'm talking, I have this idea for a business and I come to you. Am I going to be meeting with you or, or who? I have, I have 10 people that work for oh. yeah, There's uh, uh, various people who have been trained either by CPA firms or our MBA program. Most of them have advanced degrees. Uh, some have banking backgrounds. And some have a marketing background. Uh, one, I believe, was in fundraising. Mm. Uh, so we have, we have the whole spectrum mm -hmm. of uh, all the functional areas of business. Uh, we've done things like uh, plant layout. Mm -hmm. And we've worked also, I have the university to draw back on sure. because I have all the business faculty right. who may have a specialty that I can, uh, that I can bring into the, the activity. And I have done that. There's always probably on average about two or three of the faculty working with us. So uh, you're saying that you're getting some students from the university involved. How are they getting involved in the mix? Well, uh, okay, uh, it, these, these, the undergraduates I'm having to train. Mm -hmm. I mean, I don't expect them to right. be experts. Uh, and I use them mostly on the research side. Mm -hmm. And now okay. we have computers which en enhance that, enable sure. us. Uh, but also, I'm training them in the, let's say, developing a pro forma okay. or doing a marketing survey. Right. Okay, so that's where they get most of the work. But when I get to the, the graduate level, I bring them a little bit closer to the consultants in the activity, in other words, in on mm. the discussion with the businesses. Right. And they may have certain specific, depending upon their talents, uh, responsibilities. Uh, the counselor, though, has the final uh, responsibility. Uh, and every one of them walk away with uh, much more of a background which enables them then, let's say, to promote themselves when they go out and look for a position. Okay, just about out of time here. Could you give us the phone number if someone's oh, getting get in contact? Yeah, uh, it's 814-226-2060. Uh, 2060, okay. 2060. All right, so, and that's located in Still Hall? It's in Still Hall, but I have also uh, 42 bank outreach oh, centers okay. throughout 11 counties. Wow. So that's a lot. Yeah. Okay, thanks for joining us. A lot of business stuff for you today. Yeah. Dr. Wojnieni from the uh, Clinton University Small Business Development Center. Uh, thanks for joining us. We'll be back Thank right after this. Me. All right, you're free to go.
portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Curly Tires. Curly Tires on Primo Avenue Extension in Clarion. They offer a wide variety of tires to meet your car or truck needs. Curly Tire is open Monday through Saturday. Call 226-6657. That's Curly Tire. Phone 226-6657. This portion of the programming was made possible through a grant by Timberlands Restaurant. The Timberlands Restaurant is located near Interstate 80 and Route 68 in the Holiday Inn. The Timberlands Restaurant is open daily 6.30 a.m. to 2 p.m. and from 4 to 10 p.m. Call 226-8850. This portion of the programming was made possible by the Pizza Pub. The Pizza Pub is located at 1306 East Main Street in Clarion and radio dispatch delivery. Call 226-8721. The Pizza Pub is open seven days a week for your convenience. Phone them at 226-8721. stations are showing their boring programming. Only one station is bringing news coverage closer to home. Now I'll show you here first on five. Every Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m., join the area's news leader, TV5 News. Tune in for the latest in local, regional, state, and national news. Plus, with our newspaper exchange partner, The Clarion News, teaming up to bring news coverage closer to home every Tuesday and Wednesday night at 8 p.m. Once again, uh, welcome back to Feedback. I want to thank uh, Deb Freed from New Choices, New Options, and Dr. Wiggins from uh, the Coming Rivers and Small Business Development Center for joining us. A lot of uh, you know, ways to, to advance your career. Um, those are some avenues for you. Thank you for joining us. We will see you next week. The news is next. portion of the programming.